Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Benchers Ghost of New Eden. One was back there, one is there and there's the other one. Hurry up please, hurry up, hurry up. Damn it. suffers we suffer my friends I have disturbing news among us walks a witch is that not so Deborah Comenius lock her up no no tis not true I am no witch so that's how it all began I with ordinary evil from the hearts of fearful men. As usual. Okay, herbarium found in shady areas needs a lot of water. White fruit resembles small eyeballs. Red principles, horse flyweed. Roots and stems seem to soothe infections, fevers and aches. Chaka can be used as an infusion or ointment to treat intestinal pain, fatigue, skin diseases, inflammation, joint pain. And wolfsbane, extremely toxic plant, quick acting, inducing vomiting, suffocation, death. Okay, that ain't cool. That definitely, the death thing ain't cool. Okay, another draft. Some words are scratched on the paper. My dear Charles, further to our discussions at court last night and your impassioned plea, I have, I have persuaded my fellow selectmen to approve your request. You may write to some of your banisher friends to New Eden that they may help us lift the curse. Please note that this is not an invitation for them to join our company as once the curse is lifted our children will return and we must foster an ambience most moral and faithful. We shall pay the banishers for their services and then they shall leave. I am conscious painful so that we are using a hammer to fix a clock but I admit that we have little choice. The minute of our combined skills yours and mine have for now failed us. Though I have several misgivings about the violence and uneducation of your friends. I shall take you at your word. Times are desperate and we must fight fire with fire, else all shall burn. I hereby approve the expansion from the company purse. May his light shine upon you, Charles, and all of us. Yours sincerely, Governor F. Haskell. So that's how we got hired. The last settlement of New Eden, 87 and counting. Third settlement of New Eden town started during the spring of 1687, less than a year ago. Most of them came from Yorkshire. They were looking for a peaceful place to live their simple and pious life without being harassed. Axel Haskell was among the leaders, protected by a small trainment led by Captain Pennington. They reached the abandoned colony of New Eden town and started the third settlement attempt. Quickly enough, they hired people to fulfill the most needed positions. This is how I became the local schoolmistress during the summer of the same year. In the meantime, Lieutenant Sebastian Priest led the train band to the mountains to inspect Fort Jericho and see if it could be military used again. Soon enough the mine was reopened, I made good friends like Catherine and Jane and for time life was good and rich, full of the most exquisite promises. But now, as I write these lines, we are in the coldest winter ever and the deadly epidemic seems to have struck the miners. Fairfax Haskell, who is now the appointed governor, in being informed by Captain Pennington of the roaring situation in the vicinity of Fort Jericho coming from the Meyer marshes but quickly spreading. This epidemic is very similar to smallpox, fever, vomiting, pimple and weight loss. People are worried, sick, the disease may reach town. Harsh words have been pronounced, words of fear and suspicion. Death is upon us all. I pray for the brighter days of spring to deliver us as soon as possible for I love my life in here. It, yeah, in here. And I would hate to see the pro this promise of a beautiful life fade away or worse, the abruptly separated from my dear friend. And Catherine Deborah Cominius, school teacher of New Eden, February 
Grace's personal notes. What is a witch? A witch is a guardian observer of the interactions between the invisible and the incarnate. She's an expert in herbs and ointments and specializes in regulation the interactions between the living and the dead. A demonologist exerts control, a witch enchants. A witch is, can sacrifice a living being or a plant to extract its essence for use in rituals to enchant objects or places, as well as in the brewing of potions. But remember, sacrifice is only required when it's useful. It is a far, it is a far from trivial act. Demonologists make sacrifices for practice. They do it because they have the power to do it and need no better reason. A witch must avoid revealing herself to the world. She is perceived as a harmful individual. Her life may be in danger. Men from one church or the other will happily kill a witch if it serves them, if it serves them, yeah. And the demonologist serves to his church. Governor Haskell is a demonologist, oh godness, this word, demonologist, and teaches accordingly. Lemmy drinks as fast as thinking, like it uh, were honeydew, uh, honeydew, and cleaves it to desire for control. I don't want control, and I do not want to be controlled. I desire strength, and I may resist a hostile word. I wish to be free, and to claim my freedom by my strength. Ah, circle of Protection Ritual. If he is content with theory, a demonologist will generally have a much better image than one who actually practices rituals forbidden by faith. These rituals are similar to those used by witches and banishers. If a demonologist wants to practice, it is in his interest to protect himself against evil spirits by means of pentacles and circles of protection, even totems. How to make a circle of protection? Define the perimeter by drawing a large circle with floor. Never cross the circle once the ritual has begun. Draw the circle with your finger in the floor clockwise. Go around the circle three times, starting and ending at the north, then invoke the four cardinal points and the elements attached to them by lighting incense. Begin by addressing the east and end by addressing the north clockwise. When facing south, light a white candle. When you are facing west, sprinkle that direction with water droplets. Finishing facing north by throwing a small pitch of salt. With this, you should be protected from the dark forces, but it's always better to have some talismans to protect yourself. And Lemmy's journal, 14th December 1687. Today I spoke with captain's, the captain's daughter Grace. How clever she is. And she's interesting in magic too. She's interested in magic too. I loaned her one of my father's books. I, uh, uh, I'm i sorry, though I know he would be furious to learn of it. December 21st. I spent one day studying magic with Grace. I enjoy spending time with her as much as the differences in our perspectives as in their similarities for. While I'm interested in magic because of the power it represents for Grace, it means freedom. Them. That stupid magic doesn't make you free. It is important and powerful art that should be under, not underestimated. I can, it can be very strong and very dark. 11th of February 1688. I have no, I have not seen Grace in several days, and no one knows where she is. I think it's strange. I hope she's not dead. No, that stupid sweet known about it, and her father would be in mourning. I mean, I hope. February 23rd. I think I made a mistake. I took advantage of the captain's absence to break into his house and went to Grace's room. All her things were gone. I found found her notebook well hidden and took it with me. When she comes back I'll return it. In the meantime I shall study, though I suspect that of my father's study she understood nothing. And I'm so sorry with my voice from time to time I still have... With my voice it is still... After... I've been sick a couple of days ago, right? And it is still... Has not yet fully recovered. Wait, from here we came, right? Yeah, that's where we went through. I see. Um, this leads to the cemetery, doesn't it? Well, maybe not. But I think we might finally are uh, very, very close to the meeting house. And that would be utterly amazing. There it is. This court finds you guilty of the devil's work. Guided by God's mercy, I pass sentence on the witch. Pain forted you. 
confess and name your accomplices or die for your sins. I have nothing to confess. How could they have let this happen? Not a soul stood or spoke for her. There's no justice here. It's a travesty. Okay. One. Two. None. So, does it only... No, it does not only have two roots, right? I can't believe it, man. None stand for you. Your coven has betrayed you. Name them, and you shall live. I am no witch. You know this, all of you. Do not turn away from me! You must release me! You must! Will no one speak for me? Anyone? Please! Help me! Help me! I feel her distress. Her rising terror. Her dark despair. She suffered enough. And so have we. And so have we. I agree. Here, my body, my flesh displayed like a trophy. More like bait. The circle is complete. Do you return to the beginning? Or is it the beginning of your return? Paradox. How clever. How it pleases you to play with time. I do not play. Deborah, we know what happened to you. We know what they did to you. What they did. What they do. A shatter yet. We're not here to hurt you. You have my body and I want it back. That's all. Help us. Because we can help you. No, you cannot. Ugh! <laughs> 
Yes, you can. Make them pay. No. They do not deserve our rage, not these two. All oh, deserve our wrath. They crushed the breath from us. You know this. You asked for this. It's over. You have been heard. The truth is out. No! Come back! Feed upon the pain! The treachery! The outrage! No more. It hurts. Behold my wrath! Oh boy.
blocking all the fun. may end right now. The reckoning is here. Spare me your compassion, for it comes far too late. Who are you? I am retribution. A word. An idea. But who are you? I am her fury. No longer. I am their nightmare! You were. You believe you've won. It will not be so easy. For I will end your dreams. Is that an end to it? Yes. If you want it to be. Are you sure? In your hand, you weigh my death. The last stone laid upon my broken body. I'm so very sorry. Will you leave? Are you ready? I have lingered so very long. Where now will I go? I don't know. A better place, I believe. A quiet place. Quiet is good. Deborah Comenius, mere words can ill describe your suffering. And if they could, I'd not utter them now. Enough wrong has been done you. Your tale is told, and we thank you for it. You are hurt, and free to go. Hey, I'm right here. Aye, you are. 
The time has come. And I must go. That was the promise I made. We've done good work here. We've made my death count for something. Someday, we'll meet again. Take all the time in the world. I love you, Rory McGrath. These years I've spent by your side have made me a better man. You've taught me to survive. You've taught me to live. Thank you. From my heart of hearts, thank you. Farewell, my love. Death for the dead. Life for the living. The walking animation in the end looked a little if bit grief weird. If an odyssey Sorry. through hell, then what appears to be the end is often just the beginning. New Eden never recovered. For years, neither did Red. But in time, the pain of Antea's loss faded, and only the bittersweet beauty of their love lived on in his memory. Who knows? Perhaps, years from now, a legendary Scotsman, his hair grey, shall sit with his children and many apprentices and tell them a story. The tale of his beloved Antea. Of how she lived, and how she died, and how together, in New Eden, they lifted a curse and defeated a nightmare. Well, and that was Benjus Ghosts of New Eden. Um, I enjoyed the game. It was a little bit too long. Um, that, that, it was too long because of me. All the haunting cases I did, um, you know, blew it up a little bit. I enjoyed it. Um, although I think it could have been shorter. Yet I hope for a um, for a prequel, sequel for a second part. I do not now how successful it was, but I did enjoy it immensely. I am hoping that um, you enjoyed it too, and that we are going to see us here on this channel in another Let's Play. For well, now, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. <laughs>